that draws in Jeepal people all over Delmarva. If you own, have driven, or have ridden in a Jeep, you get it. If you haven't, but you've always been curious, here's your chance to get it. Jeep Week is a go. And Brad Hoffman is Ocean yeah. City Jeep Week's event coordinator joining us this afternoon. Hi, Brad. How are you doing today, everybody at BOC? Everything good yeah. over there? We are doing great. We're so happy that Jeep Week is a go. Um, this wasn't a hard decision because by nature, Jeep Week is already a socially distanced event, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. What we do is we have a beach crawl every day where they get to go down the beach and they drive along the beach. We also have the beach sand course presented by Kicker. And that's another event where they're in their vehicles. And then we have Jeep Jam out in Pittsville where they're in their vehicles. And the one place that they do gather is HQ, which is at the convention center. And that's a lot of fun. And we have social distancing policies in place. We have some great masks from Falcon, one of our sponsors that folks are going to be wearing there, hand sanitizing stations. But by nature, the people are really just in their vehicles, enjoying going and doing these activities that we've set up for them. And there's no live concerts uh, and things like that that really make this event a no-brainer to go forward with this year. So aside from all of the changes to keep people safe, are there any other changes that 2020 has for Jeep Week? We do have one event on Thursday that will be at Alley Oops um, at Midtown, and that's going to be a VIP Jeep show and shine. So we've kind of moved our kickoff party that used to be down at Fishtails up to Alley Oops, and because it's more of a social distancing venue that we can utilize there. And it's really going to work out well for us to continue to do the Thursday, Friday, Saturday events, 10 to 5, throughout Ocean City and then at the convention center. Um, the Jeep crawl goes on the morning. So if people do want to watch that, it starts off at about 8 a.m. and goes to about 9.30 on the beach where the parade, I call it the sandy carpet ride of Jeep Week. They ride <laughs> down the beach, they get to enjoy themselves. And then the sand course goes from 10 to 5 right uh, north of the pier. And that's a lot of fun to, to check out as well. And one of the other changes is at Jeep Jam, we will not be allowing any spectators. So there's not going to be any spectators allowed out in Pittsville, just the participants. But, you know, besides that, it's kind of Jeep Week is normal uh, as it can be like everything else in 2020. What about someone who doesn't own a Jeep? Can they still go to oh, Jeep yeah, Week? you can come down to the convention center and check it out. You can come there um, from 10 to 5 on Friday, Thursday, and Saturday. So Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 10 to 5 at the convention center. Um, there's a lot of people that own four by fours, they own Tundras, they own other different off-road vehicles. Some people may just be getting into the whole Jeep thing and they have it registered um, and they can come and check it out. But what we want to urge people to do is if you got a Jeep, don't be timid. It's a lot of fun and it's, it's a blast and we can bring you through it and enjoy it. So you can come down and still register uh, at the convention center next week, any day of the week, starting on Tuesday, we'll be there setting up everything. And the vendors set up on Wednesday, and then it's Jeep will people go on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. All right. So with SunFest being canceled, this looks like it's a really great opportunity for the businesses down there to um, be supported by people safely, right? Yes, it is a great event. I call it an economic engine for the town of Ocean City. Uh, we really developed this event as a long stay week for people. Some of these Jeep people come in on Monday and they stay till Sunday or Monday. So we've really urged everybody. That's another element of Jeep Week this year because we're not doing a lot of our events in the evening. Um, we urge them to go out and support all the businesses in the way they see fit. You know, going out and having a great crab feast with your Jeep friends, going to a local retail store, going to any of our local restaurants and, uh, you know, participating or non-participating venues. It's just a great way to support the local economy in a very difficult year for our local businesses. You know, Jeep Week is a, a, an economic value to the town. It's a long stay weekend. And the Jeep people are really like a big family. So when they come, they bring the kids, the family, and they're really excited. When we look at our Facebook page, there's been a lot of activity saying we're excited about Jeep Week. You can't wait to get there. And they post up their pictures of what we call Jeep Week prep. Um, for updates, you can check out our Facebook page, OC Jeep Week, uh, as a Facebook page, as well as our Instagram page. All right, real quickly, the dates again? It is August 27th through 30th. But at the convention center, it's August 27th, 28th, and 29th. 
And we're just excited about Ocean City Jeep Week this year. We're putting a lot of policies and procedures in place to make it safe, fun, and enjoyable for all. And we take the help of all the participants and all the folks involved uh, as our first line on this event, as always. Oh, all right. Brad Hoffman, thank you so much. Looking forward to Jeep Week now that I'm a Jeep owner for the first time. Yes. And good luck. Are you going to come down? You've got to get out on the beach with us. I'll make it happen for I, you. Uh, I'm certainly let's, going let's to let's try. Down definitely. Your tires and take a Jeep where people drive. Come on. All right. We can do this. Looking, looking forward to it. Brad Hoffman, thank you so much.